Honoring the memory of a young man who lost his life while being a good Samaritan. Today, loved ones gathered to pay tribute to 21-year-old Carnell Jones. He was one of two people hit and killed while pushing a disabled vehicle on I-295 on I Sunday. His mother is overwhelmed by the outpouring of support from the community. You cannot understand how it eased my heart to know that people love my child. I know he was a good child to me, but I didn't know. I'm so glad that what he learned at home, he carried it everywhere he went. News 4 Jacks reporter Jamal St. Cyr spoke with members of the family about how this 21-year-old was able to touch so many people. Today, friends and family of Carnell Jones are gathering here for a balloon release to celebrate the life of the 21-year-old who was tragically killed over the weekend in a traffic accident. Man, my brother, man, to me, he was just pure, man. Just the definition of pure, whatever that, that could be. He's just an angel, man. 21-year-old Carnell Jones was being a good Samaritan early Sunday morning when he was killed in an accident on Interstate 295. Jones was helping a woman push her car off the roadway when another car crashed into him and the 19-year-old woman who he was helping. Today, Jones's family and friends gathered for a balloon release, and they said that stopping to help someone he didn't know just describes the type of person he was. That is Connell. If, if you, you, you probably can ask anyone who worked with him or anybody who know him, that's Connell. But like I said, the shirt off his bike to anybody, a stranger to you, anyone. Yeah. That's, that's him all day. I already knew, and that's, that's one thing that comforts me, that I know that that's, even if it, it, in this situation, it's going to be the same thing because he can't just stop. He can't let nobody struggle. He, if you see a young lady help, like pushing a car, he's going to stop. He's going to help. He's that type of person. He's just too loving. Today, everyone wore orange and blue, and all the balloons released were also orange and blue because Carnell was a huge Florida Gators fan. And everything, ever since, what, about three or four years old, he's been a Gator. So I, I guess I'm a Gator. <laughs> okay, I did. I wasn't one, but now I am. You know, that's my baby, and I have to. I'm trying hard to, you know, stay strong, and by doing that, is doing the things that I know that he likes. The funeral is scheduled for Saturday, and right now the family has a GoFundMe account that started to help with expenses. You can find a link to the GoFundMe page on our website. That's newsforjax.com. In Jacksonville, Jamal Saints here for Channel 4, the local station.